you guys are well. I'm okay, I'm breathing, I'm back. Welcome back to my damn self. Um, it's good to be back, guys. Um, I am finally like in the flow of things again. I was distracted because I had an ankle injury. So what happened was I play netball on Mondays and or Wednesdays. So this, not this, last weekend, I sprained my ankle, so I landed on my ankle and it sprained. It was luckily it didn't like I didn't fracture any bones and stuff, so I had to take it easy. I'm still taking it easy. I still have an ankle guard on, but at least I can do stuff now. So I was like, you know what, let me come back and shoot. And I miss I miss you guys. I miss coming here. Like this place is my safe space. So I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm back. I hope you guys are good and that you've been keeping well. Um, what am I grateful for today? I am grateful for my healing ankle. Very soon I'll be back to playing netball again and I can't wait. And my affirmation for the day is all is well in my world. Really. Last night I had a bit of an, I don't think it was an anxiety attack necessarily, but like I just wasn't feeling okay. And I had been comfort eating for the past two to three days or so. So I just had to remind myself that it's really fine. Like everything is going according to plan and yeah like i just need to live in the moment and that's why i came here to shoot because i had to get into the flow of things and remind myself that you know what guys hush up, man. Hush up. anyway um let's get into today's video so for today's video um i always say things are quick but i promise it is it's a little spray painting job and we're doing like a textured art on a frame can't wait to share it with you um so why i'm doing it so remember that round frame shelf thing sh shelf that i have um above my bookshelf it's gold i got it from superbalist i just felt like the gold wasn't making sense for my space anymore so i decided to spray paint it and i'm spray painting it black um and then we're gonna do this um textured art with polyfiller and water it's really simple guys like you can do it today and now if you wanted to but yeah, basically very simple. And these are all, um, I'm working around improving my entryway sort of bookshelf, you know, just to make it have more meaning and, you know, give it like a, a theme of some sort. So I think I'm going to go with blacks um, because there aren't enough blacks. I know the TV stand is black, but it's, I feel like it's not enough, you know. And I'm really starting to like the black. I know in a video I've done before, I said I didn't like the black, but I think I like it. So bear with me guys, I'm allowed to change my mind. But anyway, let's get into it. So I started off by removing stuff on the shelf as it was. Remember it came in a gold and I got this shelf from Superbalist for, it was about 300 Rand, but it was on special. Original price is a thousand Rand. I took the shelf outside and I removed dust from it just to make sure that when I started to spray paint it, it would be clean. Um, I removed any dust and remember guys, always protect your floors. I use this black refuse bag and then I went ahead with my spray paint. So I got this from Leroy Merlin for a hundred rand. It was on special. It comes in different colors. It's like a pretty chalk paint. And then I went ahead and I covered the shelf in this black spray paint making sure that all the visible parts were covered in black and then I left it outside to dry for about 30 minutes or so and we were ready to go And after 30 minutes I brought the shelf back and it's looking really pretty in black I hung it up luckily I didn't have to unscrew any screws it was easy and then I put my string of pearls my fake string of pearls remind me to get real ones and then a vase that I painted a couple of days ago 
and just a couple of books you know i really wanted to put something a bit bright just to you know bring it to life a little and there you have it guys done And guys, there you have it. So the first thing I did was to cover the sides with masking tape. I didn't want the grey to be black. I wanted to leave it as grey. And if you've watched my previous videos, you'll notice that I got new masking tape, which I'm very happy about. So I went ahead and I covered all sides. And then we're going to go ahead with the spray paint. And I didn't cover this table because it's a working table so I'm not really touched but always remember to put either black refuse bag or an old cardboard just to make sure that you don't mess on surfaces and yeah guys so this is it I removed the masking tape because my paint was all dried up. I then removed the inner parts of the frame. I should have used like a scissor or a knife or something because it was really sore. But anyway, we move. Yeah, so you just remove the inside of the frame out. And this is how it looks. I really like it. And then we're going to use this part with our polyfiller so this was just me testing to see how it would work and it works oh and I was dancing so I used this polyfiller which I thought I could open myself but I needed a pair of scissors I got scissors and I mixed that with water and I used a ruler to mix everything together just to make sure that I liked the consistency and I started with the So as soon as I was happy with my mixture, I went ahead and I applied the polyfiller mixture onto my canvas. Um, just make sure you cover every part and just play around with it guys. It's so therapeutic, trust me. This went on for longer than it should have, but in my defense, it made me feel good. So I was just trying to show you guys what it does and 
and I really love it. You can play around with it. You can have lines on it. You can do anything you want to do with it. Um, I really love the fact that it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, that's the thing about me and my DIYs. I don't strive for perfection. I strive for it to look real because it's for my home. And, you know, it has to have character. And that's what these little mistakes allow for. But yeah, man, just keep going, guys. You'll really enjoy it. I suggest you try this out ASAP. Then when I thought I was happy with how it looked, I went ahead and I put it back in the frame. This took a bit longer than expected, but eventually I figured it out and I put it back in the frame and I started changing it again because it's addictive, trust me. And finally, I decided to use one of the combs I had at home. Um, I really love the fact that the comb was going to give me these lines, these perfect lines that I thought looked really pretty. It was a bit too dry, but I really loved what it did. It didn't uh, make it look perfect at all. It looked undone in certain parts, and I loved the finish. guys this is how everything looks at the end i really love the texture of this piece um the sort of perfect but not really perfect feel that it's got going on i also spray painted a candle holder into black and there's the shelf up at the top and i just really love how everything came together you know the black highlights um, matching with my tv stand and the shelf at the bottom and yeah man i love it guys and there you have it that's it from me for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you guys are inspired and motivated to do it yourselves if you don't want to do it yourself get someone to do it for you um yeah guys i keep looking at it because it looks pretty um if you've got questions <laughs> suggestions anything guys comments pop it in the comment section below if you loved what you saw please give it a thumbs up and tell a friend and i will see you all next week look after yourselves stay safe and bye